and welcome in uh, Atlanta Falcons running back and the guy running who back, is yo. a legend at BYU, Tyler Algier is with us on BYU Sports Nation. Tyler, welcome What's back. Up, oh, no, it's great to be back. Great yeah. to be back with you guys. What are you, what are you feeling right now as you watch your teammates go through what you went through last year? It's a stressful time, but honestly, like once you uh, once you get out there and you're just able to just let go, do everything that you trained to do for the past what three months. And just let it all out. Just showcase yourself. It's it's a great feeling. David Nixon said he was getting the kind of anxiousness, nervousness for the players a little bit. Are you relaxed right now? Are you feeling that for these guys? Oh, I, I can feel the tension for sure. <laughs> I can feel the tension, but it's slowly, it's slowly going away. Sure. Congratulations, by the way, on an amazing rookie season. It was no, so fun you. to watch, uh, you know, with all the BYU fans seeing you do so well. What was it like to rush for a thousand yards in your rookie year? It was, it was, it was great. It was great. Uh, great starting point you know good good for a resume and stuff but you know, just got to keep it going what so yeah what yeah what is next for you what what happens during the off season uh what's next on the calendar as far as football activity is going and when how much time do you have off before you get back and going again yeah shoot so they usually say like take a break so right when season ends take a break and then um really just it's really on you so like i've been kind of just working out ever since like two weeks maybe after or after a Super Bowl and then that's when everyone starts getting back into it and then it's really just on you like if you want to take a break go ahead but you could just got to keep your body in shape just get ready for yeah. OTAs coming up in camp. How you feeling about year two and kind of the difference of having been through that rookie season and what you kind of know that you didn't know a year ago? No I'm excited too I think uh, just uh, just really just build upon build upon what I did last year and then um, Really just try to do my best just to ball out, just do my 111th, and uh, hopefully get some get some good wins and stuff. It felt like there was a switch that was flipped halfway through the season. And you went from Tyler to Psycho T <laughs> at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Did something happen? Like, was there something that, like, clicked in your mind where you're like, okay, yeah, now I'm starting to get it? If so, what was it, and, and when did that happen? To be honest, <clears throat> it was like... Once I kept getting more reps, more reps, that's when he started slowly getting more comfortable, more comfortable. And then I think once I just like reminded myself, like, dude, like this is the dream, like you need to have fun. And then once I started having fun, just like, and then just really just knowing the playbook, like the back of my hand, <clears throat> it was just like a switch. It was just like a switch. So like, I don't have to think about, oh, I got this, I got this. When I can just, okay, this is it. Just go through my reads and progress and yeah. then boom. How long did it take you to get comfortable with the playbook, do you think? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Going through it, camp was cool, but like to really get comfortable, it all came with just reps. So I would say like maybe the third, fourth game. Yeah. Like slowly, like slowly as I just kept progressing, getting reps and stuff. But it was good. How did uh, you know? How did the BYU playbook compare to what you did in the NFL, and how did that prepare you for that next level? Honestly, we did a lot of <clears throat> we had a lot of similarities to be honest. But it was uh, I thought it was pretty uh, like I thought it was pretty easy, pretty easy. You know, just uh, studying. They helped me. Help. Like me learning this playbook and doing signals was way different than learning just drilling just the playbook and then so it was like really I think it was easier than learning the BYU playbook to be honest. Because with the you. signals are taken out, you're listening to the quarterbacks yeah. on the huddle. Or no, exactly. but did you guys huddle or did, were you? Uh, oh, no, we were no we were huddle. huddle. Okay. Yeah. So you listen to that call and then <clears throat> next year. No, exactly. Yeah. Tyler Algier is with us on BYU Sports Station from BYU Pro Day. You talked about the nerves that you feel for those guys and the tension that they're going through. Let's say for a guy like Caleb Hayes, who is just having a ridiculous day with, with great numbers, um, there's a process from now until the draft happens and then the contracts start to get signed. What advice would you give to a guy like Caleb or even Chris Brooks, who's trying to follow in your footsteps as another BYU running back over the next few weeks before the draft? Honestly, just finish, like finish whatever meetings, like some teams might uh, have you go visit them or they might come just do a workout or whatever but i think honestly just uh just take it day by day like all the hard work has passed combine pro day all of it after this day everything's gonna pass so all you need to do is just wait just finish what you can do control what you can control and then freaking fate will they will end up just doing the rest how excited are you to play Taysom and Jamal with the Saints? When I saw Twice that, a oh year. my gosh. It, it's going to be lit. <laughs> Can't wait to trade jerseys with those guys, man. Those guys are yeah. beasts. Yeah. Do, you, do you feel a connection uh, with Jamal's like fellow running backs from BYU in the NFL kind of situation? Because certainly both of BYU had never had a, a running back run for 1,000 yards, and you both did it last year. You're from the NFL, same part cool. of the state of California, for crying out That's loud. That's true. Literally, he's... I'm Southside, or I'm Central. Fontana but, guy. Yeah, Fontana guy, shoot, and he's Northside, so. Sione Takitaki from Fontana. There's a Fontana connection, is there not? Oh, yeah, no, for sure. NFL? 
Uh, how sure. would you explain? Because I, th I think a lot of people don't understand the rivalry between the Saints and the Falcons. What is that like having played in it? It's so bad. Like, like <laughs> having played in it, like, honestly, I think the fans, fans are more crazier than, like, the players. Like, like obviously, we go head and head. Like, there's a lot of smack talking. But, like, the fan, I heard the fans are crazy. <laughs> it's like, it's bad. Like, honestly, like a BYU-Utah type joint. Okay. Oh, I like yeah. it. What, what were some of your favorite uh, moments, whether they be funny or hard or awesome, from your rookie season in the NFL? Damn. Some funny moments. Either that or just something you'll never forget. Maybe your first touchdown, something like that. What, what were those experiences like? Oh, insane. Like, oh, first touchdown. So my grandpa, my grandpa was born in Indiana. So it was Indiana and then, oh, sorry, he was, his whole family's over there. So all my family, my family, his family, Ended up being there and scoring the first touchdown there was just like oh that's oh yeah cool. he was he was looking looking over that's looking incredible over us, yeah. Yeah, that is that's incredible awesome. yeah looking over me and stuff so you know just do everything for him do everything for our family and all that so it was it was good and honestly you? I felt and then I didn't know what to do I didn't know what to do so I just <laughs> I just spiked it just spiked it. when in doubt spiked someone it, grab spiked the ball it for you to keep it no I forgot it. <laughs> They got you a ball, though, maybe, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. We got it. Okay. Oh, that's did, great. Did you, uh, did you get tackled by anybody where you were like, oh, that's so-and-so? First game of me playing against the Rams, I have a picture. I think I posted it. It was me in the middle, and I got pancaked by, like, Bobby Wagner and Aaron Donald. Ooh. It was insane. Like, that's when I was like, oh, wow. I'm here. Like, like, like I'm whoa, here. welcome in, Rook. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> no, yeah, it was insane. Oh, Tyler, it's great to catch up with you, man. So great to see you doing well, and great to have you back in Provo. I oh, know. I appreciate you. Great to be back, man. I miss you guys. Let's go. Good to see you. Tyler Algier on BYU Sports Nation.